How could they secure more than land? I think, uh, for example, if uh, a country is uh, agreeing to participate in RED and the m land that needs to be protected is, is managed by indigenous people, it, it could be, and we know that indigenous peoples have historically been protecting the lion's share of the forest that currently exists, that I think some governments will see that the um, that to ensure the sustainability of these benefits, that one of the issues is the, around red is this issue of permanence, and whether will a will a protective activity that works from now for five years, then perhaps the forest is burned or cut down. How do you ensure s sustainability? I think what we're seeing is there's a, a universal acceptance that there's there's no way for this. Uh, body of work to be sustainable if the local people aren't benefiting. It's that simple. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just clear to almost everybody working on this issue that if the local people aren't engaged, aren't benefiting, it's not feasible that these benefits will last. So um, I could envision situations where in order for a government to meet its, 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 uh, its commitment to reduce deforestation, they recognize that the people managing the land need to have rights over the land so that they will benefit from it and they can uh, uh, ensure the sustainability of the intervention. So it seems possible that there may be some benefits in that domain. It remains to be seen. I'm, I'm not uh, saying that this will happen, but it seems to be a possibility.